Welcome back. So a while back, I painted this picture, and I only recently just hung it on the wall. It's been sitting on my easel for a while. But uh, I finally got a frame for it now, and I'm going to show you guys the process as far as mounting a canvas in a picture frame, and then maybe a couple other things like how to mount the hangers, and some of that other or some information that you might want to know but uh let's jump over to the kitchen counter where i can actually show you a little bit better all right so this is the picture frame that we're going to be mounting it in now this frame is not quite as deep as the thickness of our canvas so when we set it in there it's actually got about a half of an inch gap so i got this set of there's like three different sizes and then the screws, these are called canvas offset clips. So basically what it does is just gives us a little bit of a bracket that we can mount to our frame and then mount to our canvas and keep everything secure. So I'm probably gonna put like make two on each side and then maybe just one in the middle on the bottom. That's not a very heavy canvas and this frame isn't very heavy so I'm not worried about weight and, you and then it's just going to hang off of this existing hanger. I'm going to get my screwdriver and drill just so I can kind of pre-drill some of these holes. It probably won't split. I'm not too worried about it really, but I always get kind of nervous because I don't want to, to uh, take that chance and it's not going to hurt anything by putting just a slight pilot hole in first before we screw it down. So I'm going to go get my tools and we will jump into the hanging part. mount these two first that way it keeps everything from moving and then I can do the rest. I changed my mind because I want to put um, instead of putting one in the middle which is going to be in the way of my hanger I actually guess it won't really make any difference but I think I might actually just put one on each side because this isn't very heavy. We'll see. I don't know. I don't know. Anyways I'm going to mount these two first at least that way I can keep everything from moving when I drill the rest. I think I'm just going to put one on each side. This frame is really light, so I was thinking that this would be in the way of when I hang it on the wall, but the nail's going to be on this side, not that side. So I'm going to go one there, one there, and then we will be ready to hang it back up. Yeah, that looks good. Don't have any real issues? So it's hanging good. I like it. Okay, so if you're if you're not sure how to go about even hanging or mounting the hanger like this on your frame. It's pretty simple. Obviously you gotta measure the halfway point, which is right here, I already marked it out. And on this particular brand, um, most of them have it. There's just like a little dot, and that dot is the center point of the bracket. So all you have to do is figure out where your center point is on your frame and line that dot up. So now this is perfectly centered. So when you go to hang it, it's not gonna be all shifty. And then um, if you want to use like a heavier hanger, something where you're gonna need like a cable to hang it because it's a heavier piece, um, I'm not gonna screw this down to it, but you typically want it to be in the top third of the P 
piece. Because if it's in the middle and it's gonna hang, it's gonna be all kind of wavy. It's not gonna sit level, I guess is the way to say it. <laughs> but when I'm on it somewhere up in this area, and then screw that down. And the proper way to tie these with your cable, you run your cable through once, and you're gonna go under it, and you're gonna go back through like that. Kind of try to get as tight as you can. It's kind of hard to do with that, without it being mounted down. And then you just wrap it a bunch of times relatively tight just so it doesn't come unwound kind of pulls against itself and ties it keeps it tight like that so it won't come off of these little metal brackets this is nice if you have something heavy they want to hang it doesn't have to necessarily be a painting or a picture it can be some type of wooden um, art piece you want to hang obviously this is a little bit smaller cable but the principle is the same as far as getting a bigger cable and winding it around. Okay, well that's about it for this video guys. Uh, I will mention one thing. Typically when you take like a painting or some type of art piece in where you want to get it framed, those places will put like a, it's like a brown craft paper, I guess is the best way to say it. it kind of covers the whole back side of the frame. I don't know what they use to, uh, if it's like an adhesive they attach it with, but that kind of seals the back of the painting up, keeps dust out. And then like, for instance, if you had a light or something up above and you shine in it down, there are some gaps here between the frame and the painting that might let light through because I don't have that paper on, but that's not really that important to me. And I don't think it's gonna be a problem, but I'm just gonna say that so people won't say, hey, you forgot to put the paper on there. But for my purposes, this is fine. I think it turned out pretty cool. Got one more thing off my to-do list, so that gives me more time to make more videos. So for now, guys, I think I will see you later, and thanks for watching.